fast court change. Aaron Crickstein called for the trainer to come out. And a blister on his right hand. Thirty fifty. Uh, thirty. I'll try to. I'll get it right in a minute. Thirty love. Not yet. Now it is. Thirty love. Dad, anxious moments for him. And your question: Who is more fatigued after this over? This is over. Double faults by Connors today. Four hours and four minutes they've been playing. Please. 
Thank you. Connors has had 20 break points. converted four break points out of 21 and is looking at another one. Connors had hit a terrific approach. Crixie was still able to get it down low. On key situations in this match, he's been in, from remote court positions, he's made some clutch moves. Another break point for Connors. Here's another look. Connors. On the attack, Crickstein thought he was going down the line. One more, he says. Quiet, please. Thank you, quiet, please.
Again, the great anticipation by Connors. He was there early. Connors leads five. Christian leads five. We'll be four. back at the U.S. Open in just a moment. For those of you who do it alone, who stand by a loved one with Alzheimer's disease, now there's someone to stand by you. The Alzheimer's Association. Is the only life we we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't. We have support groups where you can get in touch with your feelings and community services and research that can put you in touch with the facts. Hopefully, one day, the cure. And darling, darling, stand. I mean, oh, stand. By me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. Stand by me. Whenever you're in trouble. To reach your local Alzheimer's Association, me. call this oh, number. Someone is there now to stand by, by you. Oh. My name is Jesse Cordy, and what I'm going to tell you is real. On January 4th, 1987, a passenger train en route between Washington and New York collided with a freight train. In the trial that followed, the engineer admitted to having smoked marijuana and overlooking security measures. They say that marijuana doesn't hurt anyone. But this time, 16 people died. Among them, Laura Cordy, my wife. Connor serving at 4-5 in the fifth. Love. You know, Pat, if this does go, get the six all, there will be a tie break. The only Grand Slam event Wait, where they have a tie break in the final set. That should be good news for Jimmy. Hot Thank you, Quentin. Come here, of our schedule tonight on CBS again evening shade major dad Murphy Brown designing women Quiet, and then please. northern exposure 30 15.
understood perfectly, you're out. Quiet, please. A gallant effort. This could have been a winner, but not against Connors. And that one sat up just enough for Jimmy to get there. Tough volley there. Now the big stretch. Five three. Thank you. Five all. Quiet, please. Thank you. Five all in the fifth. Quick steam serving. round match that's the stadium at the UST National Center Tennis Center in New York that's the situation the US Open of 1991 for those of you who just joined us it has been an unbelievable match possessed Jimmy to try a drop shot that balls around his head I mean it's gonna bounce higher and he's there had to let go with the one hand thank you stretched Bye, out catches the tape 30 love Ball toss a little bit low at the moment. Crickstein, he's not really stretching all the way up for it. Ah! 
40 love. 40 love. Longest matches so far. Quiet, please. This one's four hours, 24 minutes. Six, six, three, six, five. six, five, and the fifth. Can you imagine if this goes to a tie break? <laughs> this joint will go crazy. <laughs> huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, this is Ryan talking to you. Everything still the same? Yes, hello. Guy's unbelievable. Jack? If he wins, you're going to blow him up? You look at the stadium. It Egoist. Montre-toi, misérable. Regarde à mon cou. Frais, implacable. Mon rage. Mon événement. La pour trahir. Et je t'en prends vécu. C'est un fami. Montre-toi. Egoist. Egoist. For a man. Go East for a man from Chanel. Today, the company that created the BMW 535i tries to blow it off the road. While all car makers pursue front-to-rear aerodynamics to save fuel, BMW also perfects resistance to crosswinds, which can save people. Choice is simply building an ordinary car or the ultimate driving machine. depth by Connors on that point. Here he comes on the short ball. And again, the sky hook pulls it cross court for a winner. Quiet, please. He deserves a massage tonight. If your Crooks team was playing a Davis Cup match, the final match in a foreign country, you feel you've got to feel all alone. He knows his dad's here, and that's about it. Quiet, please. He must feel like he's back in Paraguay. Years ago, he exactly. lost. A, he lost a tough Davis Cup match there. He's redeemed himself in Davis Cup plays since, though. Last year he was a hero. Thirty all. 
Double fault. Number seven. 30 all. Stab volley. Didn't look like Crixie would even get to it. He did manage to get to it and knocks it over the baseline. Six all, final set. For those of you that may not know Quiet, about the please. tie break, the first player Quiet, to please. win seven points with at least a two point advantage will Quiet, win this please. match. Second set went to a tiebreaker. Here's a look at it. We'll let you all make your own decision. <laughs> You know, Crickstein has played four fifth set tie breaks and won them all, including two I'm here, one against Edberg in 83 and one against Anacone in 86. Connors is one and one in fifth set tie breaks. Both of those occurred here at the Open. into the net when this ball comes up watch him keep coming <laughs> wow. 
said these two were very close friends. Quiet, please. For a long time. Crickson's practiced with him, been to his house. Watch the Super Bowl together. Watch the Super Bowl here today, together. Nothing. Brickstein has never beaten Jimmy Connors. Here's the draw. To get to the quarterfinals, the winner of this match would advance against Harhus. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Steffi Graf, of course, she's playing next, or scheduled to play next here in the stadium. Been waiting a, a long time. Thank you. And being entertained. several times for Crickstein. Well, that is a gutsy play because it requires such perfect execution. If you don't make that one perfectly, you're out.
back, please. What did it ultimately come down to? Was it the blister on your hand? Was that a factor? Well, the thing is, I can't say it cost me the match. You know, he had did some great shots to win it at the end. But, I mean, at five, it happened at 4-2 deuce. I felt it. And I have to say, the next game definitely hurt my concentration. But, you know, I, I can't make that as an excuse. You know, he played well. How much extra did you have to bring to this match, knowing that you were playing the guy that had really become the crowd favorite here? Well, it's a tough situation. You know, I normally get a lot of crowd support in New York, and and it's kind of tough. It's like a Davis Cup uh, match. You know, everyone's rooting against you, and you know, even when you miss serve. So it's definitely tough, but I understand that. I mean, Jimmy's a legend, and uh, he's a great player. All right, Aaron. Well, I know you have a lot of fans here. We appreciate the show you put on this afternoon. Thanks very much. Let's go over to Tim Ryan. Okay, Jimmy. Uh, fantastic show. Obviously, uh, another. Another occasion where you took a match that's a third rounder and turned it into a title match. Is it any more satisfying for you to, to have a match like this than, than winning an Open? It doesn't seem possible. Well, this is, it, McEnroe said it, uh, John McEnroe said it when I got lucky against Patrick. You know, this is a Connors miracle right here. And for me to, to beat Aaron in a match like today, you know, seven, six, and a fifth, I mean, I, I couldn't have done anything any better than I did. And it was a war, and I was lucky enough to win. But Jimmy, now, of course, I mean, you're in the quarter, so there's no more not talking about going the distance. Everybody's going to talk about it. Well, they can talk whatever they want to. I have a couple of days off, and I'm going to rest for a while, and I still have to come out and play the tennis necessary to win. So every day's a new day for me now. I'm, I'm a little bit tired, and I'd like to get to the showers. Is this a, a, the most fun match you've ever played here, or can you rank it? Well, these are all, they've all been fun, starting with Patrick and winning that one, and then the, the next two, and then this one here, the, to win a match like this, this is what I live for, to win a match 7, 6, and the 5th, and to still be able to do it's pretty good. Good luck, Jimmy. Get to the showers. Jimmy Connors, a victor here today on the center stage he owns in the city of New York. Let's go to Pat Summerall. Entertaining. Uh 
That's putting it very mildly. What are your final thoughts, Tony Trader? Well, uh, unbelievable, Pat. <laughs> I mean, first place, I want to salute Aaron Crickstein. Great, great job. And a perfect gentleman of sportsman at the end, having lost a bitter defeat for him. Now he's 0 and 6 with him. What can you say about Connors? 39, his birthday. Fabulous match. It's the U.S. Open. It's terrific to be here. Was terrific. That's it, all you say. It, it really was. I agree with Tony, especially about Aaron Crickstein. I mean, he really showed an awful lot of class and dignity. I think at the mm. end there, uh, Jimmy Connors. I'm not convinced he could have done this in any other setting on any other occasion than than, than using all of this and, and coming through like that. Sure and I'll tell true. you what, I, I like him against Harhus. I like him against anybody at this point. <laughs> well, you have to. <laughs> Let's go back uh, and look then again at match point one more time. You come up to a good serve by Connors, a high return. And now the good anticipation and the two-handed volley, his favorite volley, into the open court. Reminds you again at 11.30 tonight, Eastern and Pacific, our highlight show, Tim Ryan and Tony Trabert will be there. CBS sports coverage of the United States Open Tennis Championships is sponsored by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Merrill Lynch, we're bullish on the future. And by Fuji, an official sponsor of the 1991 U.S. Open. The number one airline across the Pacific now introduces renowned international service to London's Heathrow Airport. Come fly the airline that's uniting the world. United. Come fly the friendly skies. When you look for champions, you look to CBS Sports. This is CBS. Tuesday at Inside. This is Milan Henelichka, goaltender for the Czechoslovakian Olympic hockey team. He's taken hundreds of stitches, suffered eight fractures, and has even been knocked unconscious. Yet he once went 11 consecutive periods without being scored on. But if you think it's tough to get something by him, wait till you see the guys at the ticket window if you don't have your visa card. Because once again, the Olympics don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. my instincts. By the time I realized there was no turning back. I didn't want to. You can count on me. You know that, don't you? I was figuring I could. Well, you cleaned this town up. You made it fit for women and kids to live in. Melon and nobody else will ever drag it down again. I was hoping people would feel that way. What other way is there? How many men you got lined up? 
done yet. Well, you better get going, man. Just a reminder, when you think duplication, think meter copiers. Call 1-800-ABC-METER. A view of the Unisphere on the world's fairgrounds of Flushing Meadows from the MetLife Blimp, piloted tonight by Corky Belenger and Bart Van Beest. And from the MetLife Blimp, you look down into the National Tennis Center. Jennifer Capriotti serving at 15 love. We're on serve in the second set. Oh, The most entertaining things about this match has been its pace. The points have been quick. This return of serve just didn't have enough on it right on the service line. Jennifer's gonna kill you every time with that one. Talk about pace. That's called overpowering your opponent. One hundred and one miles an hour for the fifteen year old. Third double fault for Capriotti. Sabatini is going to have to fight to not wind up regretting that fifth game when she had the break and gave it back. Showed you a moment ago Capriati's record since Wimbledon. She has lost only one match. That was to Judith Wiesner in the third round. At the Federation Cup in England, she lost 8-6 in the third. But since then, Ted, she's been on a roll. She won the tournament in La Costa, the Mazda Classic, over Monica Sellis in the finals, 7-6 in the third, and she won the Canadian Open the week after that over Kater Katerina Maleva. And in the semifinals, she beat Gabriella Sabatini. After winning the first set, Gabriella had to retire in the middle of the second with blisters on her feet. That was the first time Capriotti had beaten Sabatini this year at the Wimbledon semis. Sabatini won four and four. Capriotti's coming up to the net. She did very well. But Sabatini just poked that ball cross court with a good angle on it. Fifth double fault. 
again with Capriati in, and shuffling and squeaking well, well into the court. such crucial points. Two double faults in the game. And it's Deuce. She just spun the first one in. Sabatini's most important point. Losing the first set and now facing a break point at three all of the second. yourself in business often depends on what you carry in business. Cambridge Business Wear from Mead, as important to the way you look as the clothes you wear. This bench gets a professional finish with Krylon spray paint. No runs, no drips, no air. Dries to the touch in minutes. The other brand's still tacky. Wow! What a game! Good game, Mr. Uger. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks. For a fast, smooth, professional finish, get Krylon. Did you ever see a nice to live in a time when women aren't being pushed around so much anymore? Look at this. This feeds extremely well. It took real expertise to create New Expert, a pet food that's scientifically formulated, the kind vets recommend, with no artificial flavors or colors. It took real expertise to make a diet so digestible that pets get more nourishment and produce less waste. But it took real genius to give it great taste. New expert diets from Pedigree and Whiskus. Expert nutrition from our vets. Great taste for your pets. The defending champions in some serious trouble now on stadium court. Down a set and a break. Sabatini has been broken her last two service games. Still the ability to play a beautiful point. It's great court coverage by both players. Jennifer hits it right back to Gabby. Who makes a beautiful angle. Great 
serve. You know, Ted Capriotti's really controlling the pace of this match. It seems to me that Gabrielle is always trying to hold on, fight back. Can't get that, that lead. That's what's impressive to me tonight about a 15-year-old is that she's out here controlling the way the match is being played. What a difference in serving tonight. Capriati's serve has been a major weapon. Sabatini's has hurt her. Look how she squares up to the ball. Nice shoulder turn. Puts it so cleanly. Very flat and solid. And Capriati starts to squeak him again. Not too badly there. That's about the only thing that would leave any sort of a distasteful mark on this performance tonight by Capriotti. She didn't, uh, on that point, did not s make the squeaking noise with the sneakers. She's gonna nail that son of a gun every time. That's why you watch. Hey, she's on USA. Remember playing cowboys and Indians or protecting your first fort? What about your love of crayons and paper dolls or your fascination with airplanes? Juvenile Lifestyles remembers. At Juvenile Lifestyles, we believe that a child's imagination is too precious to waste on the ordinary. Take a walk through our exciting new showroom where dreams become reality. Let's design a special theme room for your child or come see our selection of traditional and contemporary furnishings. Juvenile Lifestyles, San Francisco. I want to fly in business class. 
My company only pays for coach. So I fly business class for the price of coach. It's called beating the system. Of course, you can't do it on just any airline. On TWA, when you buy an unrestricted domestic coach ticket, you can reserve a confirmed seat in our business class for the price of coach. You pay for coach, you sit in business class, and it isn't even your birthday. TWA's business class. We did it first, we do it better. 25 million Americans have seen ghosts. 40 million Americans have made contact with the dead. 62 million Americans have had a telepathic experience. Now, their stories will be told. Beyond Reality premieres October 4th on USA. Jennifer Capriati serving for the match. shot from Sabatini. Really laid into that one. Not enough time for Jennifer to get there. Sabatini did not charge the second serve. This one she did. Ted, those first serves from Jennifer looked a little nervous. This is probably one of the toughest games to play. Try to end the match, finish it off. That is out. No matter what sport, it translates the same for any athlete trying to close. for Sabatini, that would put her right back in the match. That last serve was 59 miles an hour. She was hitting some before at 100. moments when we are reminded that Capriati is 15. Actually, I don't know about it, the age, but she is an athlete and she has nerves. It's so Thank tough you. Thank you. to close out that match. She played totally different that game, playing more tentative, not going for the winners, not going for that big first serve.
from the first point, Sabatini played that way because she, she didn't charge the second serve. And it was as if she was saying to Jennifer, I'm going to let her hit enough balls to see if she will hit one out. I agree with you 100%. Make her play for it. Make her win it. Denise Capriotti. I don't know who it's tougher on, the parents or the players. <laughs> Stefano in the front. <laughs> Sabatini. There's Sabatini's crew. Her mother right in the middle. For the first time, Capriati talking to herself. Tom Gullickson and Pat Etcheberry. And behind them is Stephen Capriotti, Jennifer's little brother. like it skidded off the baseline. That ball was very deep and very hard. And Sabatini knew it. And now suddenly we're at deuce. points in a row. Comes in, finds the line, another line, two lines in a row. And she has a break point, this Capriati. <laughs> Sabatini just tried to spin her first one in and it was long. Now Where watch. Jennifer is, moving around. That is long, and Sabatini is broken back to give Capriati another chance for the match. If you don't build good product, if you don't take care of your customer, they'll go somewhere else. A lot of small towns that do depend on these factories. Throughout America, IBM is working with all types of industries to create a new way of manufacturing, where IBM technology is helping everyone contribute toward the same goal, so better products get to the market faster, which keeps all of us a step ahead. You want to go home at night, you feel good, and you feel you got something done. When I'm
Well, this man you So, baby, please, baby, don't treat me bad Once you've tried something like this, you, you just don't go back. After Johnson & Johnson created AccuView disposable contact lenses, there was one thing left to do. If they would give away a free pair, everyone would wear these. So we did. It's comfortable. Just put them in. Boom. They feel great. You don't clean them. Visit your eye care professional for an exam, and if AccuView is right for you, you'll get a free trial pair. That's all it took for me. Just put them on one time. Second serve coming on a break point, and again, Capriati way in. Jumping, making noise. Sabatini got the second serve in. But Gabby's only won six of 22 points when she's had to serve her second serve. the first point. That was a very low percentage shot. She tried a drop shot from about two or three feet beyond the baseline. Even if it went over the net, Capriotti would have plenty of time to get there. <laughs> right now to me, Tracy, a big, big story in this match. Sabatini has broken serve three times and has been broken back each time. 0 for 3 following a break. That's long. The smash is long, and it's 15-30. She got a little excited on that ball, hit it a little bit behind her, a little late, so the ball carried long. And that is called out. And again, Capriati can't believe it. <laughs> Nerves everywhere here. Two break points. One break point. Experienced by 20,000 fans, by the two players. Capriati twice has served for the match and has been broken. And Sabatini will serve first in the tiebreak. Must win by two. Oh. Well, 
Sabatini has hit out on two second serve return. Seems to me that she's trying to make the winner with just one shot. And against Capriotti, you need to try for that combination. Get her out of position first before you go for a big winner like that. Gabriella Sabatini's mother looks on. Gabriella's head out of her reach. It didn't seem like Gabriella's approach was not very strong. It wasn't, but I tell you, she's lobbing very well, keeping her off the net. And believe me, every time Gabriella comes in, she's standing back just a little bit, thinking about that lob. Sabatini has wriggled out of some tight spots, but this is the tightest. Down 5-1 in the tie break. One more serve for Capriotti. Oh, uh, her, her incredible aggressiveness has taken over in this tie break. I tell you, that wasn't tentative. So she has five match points. says, come on, Jen, feet. Oh. You get nervous. That's the one thing that stops oh, moving yeah. sometimes. And Jennifer Capriotti has knocked out the defending champ. She'll share it with the family. and in New York, a win over Sabatini. And the tennis world must welcome Jennifer Capriotti to the big time. For Gabriella Sabatini, disappointment. Three times she broke and was broken back each time. 
That will be something she'll remember for a long time. A great night for Jennifer Capriati. Gabriella Sabatini now standing by with Cindy Schmerler. Gabby, bad luck. Uh, tough loss. Four straight service breaks. Did you think you'd see a tie break out there? Uh, well, I think I played very bad the tie break. Uh, probably I went too much for the, for the shot, and uh, I missed too many balls. What was your game plan going into this match? You didn't seem to come in as much as you have in the past. Uh, well, I think I play a little bit short, and uh, you know, she was playing very deep. She was attacking me, and I didn't have too many chances to come to the net. You know, she was really dancing around on your serve there, causing a couple of double faults. Was that disappointing and frustrating for you? Uh, well, no, not too much. Um, I think I'd be serving pretty well. Uh, probably in the important points, uh, I did a few double faults, uh, but uh, I did too many errors today. You know, last year you came in here, it was your dream tournament, you won it, it changed your career around. How tough is this loss? Yeah, it is tough because it's, uh, this is a very special place to, to play. And, uh, you know, um, it's bad always when you lose, but uh, it always uh, is still my, my preference uh, in this tournament is it's very special. And, uh, well, there's always the next time. Now, what did Jennifer Capriati do right today? I think she played, she was very solid uh, from the baseline. She was hitting very well the ball. Uh, she played very deep today. Um, you know, she was not going too much for the shots and she was uh, taking her time very well. And uh, she played very well today. Well, you're out of the draw. Can Jennifer turn around and win the whole thing now? Uh, yeah, she had chances, of course. Uh, I think she has very good chances. She's playing well. And uh, you see, against Monica, it's going to be a, a tough match, but she has chances. Gabby, thanks for stopping. Ted? Well, if Jennifer Capriati is to win, it's going to be one run because it would be Sabatini, Sellis, and perhaps Groff. Jennifer Capriati played an outstanding tiebreak, winning at 7 1. After twice being broken when she served for the match, she dominated the tiebreak. And Capriati with a convincing win over Gabriella Sabatini to advance to the semifinals of the U.S. Open.